Check. We're on? All right, good. How you doing there? Bill Butler here. I'm going to be making a cocktail for you this evening. I thought I would address the uh, topic of the times, as it were. So uh, everybody's out looking for alcohol. Yes, uh, got to sanitize everything. And when we're sick, don't we want to clear up our sinuses with a little Vicks Vapor Rub? Chicken soup, always good. Honey, this is natural Louisiana honey and lemon for your throat. People are talking about, although I think the science is sketchy, on hydroxychloroquine. And then, of course, you need music to chase away the blues. Now, how am I going to take all of this and uh, let's, let's make a cocktail out of it, right? Need alcohol, 190 proof here. We're going to take care of the uh, Vicks with a little bit of mint. We're going to keep this chicken right here. Honey and lemon. Well, honey isn't too bad. Lemon is also going to, the lemon is also going to come from lemon vodka. This is a uh, deep eddy lemon. I bought it because it's cloudy. Hydroxychloroquine. The quin's on there because it's got quinine. Here's a drink I found. It's a liqueur called Sina Sina. It's spelled China, China, but uh, Sina Sina is a orange liqueur from France. Bitter orange. It's not a sweet drink. A little sweet, a lot bitter. They even caramelized the sugar so it can't be sweet. And uh, let's chase away the blues with some absinthe. Yes? Okay, look, if you can't get quinine from here, you can get quinine, uh, you can use tonic water. This is the cheapest tonic water I can find. It does actually say that it contains, boom, boom, boom. It does, it says it contains quinine as a word right there. We're gonna be mixing in a little club soda instead. Uh, the measures that I'm going to be using is going to result in a drink that will be the equivalent of about five drinks, five alcoholic beverages in an hour, and you are binge drinking. That's not what you want to be doing. But uh, then again, I'm not your mama. I'm going to mull the mint in here a little bit, just crush it up just a little, release the... Uh, Release the vapors, like we found in the vapor rub. Boom, 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 boom. You learn everything on YouTube? I uh, learned to be a bartender. I did not. This is uh, going to be a one ounce pour. There we go. We're gonna an ounce of 190 proof alcohol there. We're gonna take care of the lemon in a moment. Uh, we're just going to give it just a little honey to sweeten it up. Just a little. Just a little. Hey, splashed over. I'm glad I didn't do that with that. A little bit of this. A full measure of the Cena Cena. And uh, lastly, the absinthe. Just a hint. Just a hint around the glass. And let's, uh, oh yeah, get that. Oh, love it. And then if you're in New Orleans, you know about Peshad's uh, bitters. These are uh, ooh, quite good. We're just gonna put a little bitters in there. I am not a mixologist. I've got everything in there. How much lemon did I put in there? I think I put enough. Two measures? Ah, why not? Let's add just a little more of that. And we're going to add a little club soda. Hee hee! All right. Yeah, you know it's fresh. That should be good. Let me get some ice here. I 
did mention the chicken. Got my chicken from Popeyes. We're gonna add just a little bit more of the 190 octane. And this is gonna take care of the chicken element. Mm -hmm. And my hand is going to catch fire. Because look, this, uh, this chicken, woo! Chicken got a kick to it. Right there, some good chicken. Finish up for you later. And uh, mull this around a little more. seeds out. I am not a bartender. This is a drink that I came up with when I was thinking about uh, all the talk in the news of hydroxychloroquine and I said to myself, chloroquine? I said, isn't that something you get from quinine, from the uh, cinchona tree? And uh, yes it is. And no, it is not something you want to mess with. The cinchona tree has a bark from which you can get the anti-malarial drug quinine. If you find your own cinchona on the internet and you are attempting to make your own medicine, you are attempting to end your life. I'm kidding, it's just gonna do neurological damage. So if you're stupid enough to do that, oh yeah, beautiful golden liquid. Salut. Mm, mm. You get the bitter orange from the uh, Cena Cena. The freshness of the lemon. I can taste the mint. Mm, fragrant. The Peugeots and the Anise are in there. And then, of course, I put so much of this in there. It actually set fire to the shaker for a moment. Delicious. A little bit of white rock in there. Club soda. Put that in there so that uh, you can uh, open up the flavors. I probably shouldn't have been biting on this chicken before I took a drink. I can't tell you how much of the chicken flavor is in there. But if you are looking for a cocktail to settle your quarantine blues. I have dubbed this the 504 Quarantini. Y'all have a great evening. Good night now. I'm not gonna finish this. I gotta go to work in the morning. My work, it's right there. Nah, that's home office. But look, you guys have been wonderful. And I hope none of you actually try this. No, really. Um, if you can't get a hold of uh, orange liqueur, I mean, if you can't get a load of a hold of Cena Cena, you can use uh, orange liqueur, which is actually a little sweet. You're not getting the bitterness. But then you can go ahead and substitute in uh, club soda for tonic water. I think I'm talking too much. This is good. Mm. God bless. Good night, everybody.